as well as using the indexing in 2.5D machining, the z-axis indexing can also be used when working with 3D surface milling processes. Now in this example file, what we're going to do is we're going to simply surface mill these four domes around this part. The type of machine we're going to use is a, a large gantry style machine which has a head-head rotation uh, construction. So in this example I've already got a group created with all the parallel surface milling toolpaths created. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through a quick machine simulation. Now note when running through this demonstration that pause on gauge and the show pause on gauge dialog is switched on. So let's go, I'm just going to go into a machine simulation, a single step. So here you can see construction of the machine, here is the head head orientation with a large sliding table. I'm just going to simulate this. So we machine the first dome, as soon as we get to the second one we can see that the stock has uh, collided with the C rotation head. And sure enough, as we zoom in you can see here, we've got quite a large collision. So we've been able to machine this uh, dome quite easily, this one is giving us a problem. So what we need to do is we need to rotate the head of the machine. Now in feature cam this is quite a simple fix, I can go into my feature. So I'm all, I've already got uh, the pre-created z-axis indexing group here if you want to run quickly through the demonstration we're going to edit this current one which is using the conventional method at the moment so open the group up if I click on the parallel zero, zero conventional you'll see just in this area here at the moment there's a, a grey space um, and what we're looking for is an option uh, to change to use our um, rotational C axis. So let's close that off and let's go into our stock, edit the properties and under indexing what we need to do is we need to instigate fourth axis positioning. So I'm going to select and use the new option which says index around the Z uh, axis. Let's apply and OK. Now when I go back into the group and select the first one you'll notice we now have a sing C angle that we can change. So the first one is fine, that had no collisions. The second one, at 90 degrees, you can see it's still set to zero, so let's change this to 90 and apply. The third one, we're going to go 180 and apply. And the fourth one, let's change to 270 and apply. So that's given us our uh, angle changes for the, the head of the machine. I'm also going to change at the 90 and 270, I'm going to change the, uh, the strategy that we're using in this case. At the moment we're going X parallel, I'm going to change this to Y parallel and apply. And for the 270 I'm also going to do the same, Y parallel and apply. So I'll now be machining across at the 0 and 180 and then along the uh, domes on the other uh, angle positions. So final thing to check is just to run through another simulation. So again, I'm just going to single step. So quick recalculation of the tool paths. So first one, we should see no change.
as we reach the end of this dome, you should notice the head will spin in order to machine and avoid collision. So there we go.